Uh, my name's Lee, and mm -hmm. I'm Charlotte's father. Uh, as well as looking after my wife uh, full time, I've also been sort of looking after Charlotte and trying to support her with regards to her mental health and the issues that she's been going through. One of the things I think that really helped from my point of view was actually recognising why she was actually being quiet, why she was being going to her room, why she decided to feign illness, and whatever. And we gave her empowerment to actually decide herself what she should do and what she shouldn't do. This was towards the GCSE uh, uh, time. Uh, and in, in actual fact, it had the, the better effect because she then decided she was going to go to school when she just decided not to do so. Um, but I think the best thing that we found was actually understanding why she was feeling like she was. We just took time to listen to her to actually, and we could do it obviously because we were her parents. Um, and having worked in the school at the time myself, uh, I could understand the difficulty the teacher had because I've seen so many such teachers who's literally falling through the door, absolutely whacked out at the end of the, the term or the, the school year. To try and find time for one individual to a child must be very difficult, but trying to find uh, time to speak to a child, I think actually works <coughs> really, really well because then you could judge how you're going to deal with that person and maybe, um, and we had, a, I think we had a red card system. So if the child had a red card, they needed some time out, they used to take some time out, and there might have been a TA <coughs> possibly to sit with them. If there was something like that, then that, that possibly would help the child to sort of calm down to focus on what's going on with themselves. So I think talking to them and finding out what's going on with them actually helped us. Okay, so, so, so something about... Um, that you felt reassured as a parent when the school, when you felt the school was, was listening to your child's voice. So, yes. so if they had listened, they heard, you felt they understood um, and, and went at their pace rather than at the pace that the school perhaps felt they needed to go to. Okay, so very young, very young person centred. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's excellent, thank you. Um. My name's Melissa and I'm Zander's mum. I'm a single parent and I have an elder son as well. So our story is probably rather different uh, and I have to say I expect Lee's felt the same. Being a parent of a child with a lot of mental health dif difficulties means that other people are suspicious of you, other people point the finger, other people wonder what you've done to your child. I'm calling a spade a spade here because I hope it's helpful. Uh, it's a really difficult journey. When we first moved to London, we moved because we were in physical danger. We didn't know what had happened to Zander. I knew something was wrong and I knew we had to leave. The uh, primary school you went to, I didn't know the teachers because we'd literally just arrived and they didn't really try and build any relationship with me. They recognised that something was wrong with Zander but I felt terribly defensive because I didn't know who this was they were getting in to talk to Zander. I mean, who is she? What qualifications does she have? What right does she have to talk to my child? Because my child wasn't telling me anything was wrong. We thought this was all because we'd done this very rapid move. Um, so looking back on that, I think the school would have done better if they had been able to, to build a relationship with me and explain what their concerns were and let's try and find out rather than making me feel hunted is a slightly large word, but it's, it's how I was made to feel. It took a long, long time. It probably took, actually it doesn't sound that long. It probably took a year after your fall before we actually understood what had happened. And again, at that time we was in Great Ormond Street and we spent a lot of time with professionals pointing fingers, putting you through the mill when Zander managed to start going back to Channing, what they did that was absolutely brilliant was they were really happy for him to arrive for school for an hour. You know, if he'd done two hours in one day, that was amazing and really, really good. So there was no question of him going straight back into school. We tried to do very, very slow reintegrations. They were also, as Zander said, extremely open to all of your issues. I would have a lot of meetings with the deputy head. They would bend over backwards to try and do anything they could. I don't think anything that they were doing was actually taking any more time away from teaching from the teachers. It was more that he could come and go with what worked for him. 
and that they would email work for him at home because they know, knew he wanted to work, so that they were just more, more accommodating. It's slightly difficult for me to look back because obviously he hasn't been in a mainstream school for some time. The Darwin is obviously a completely different kettle of fish. But again, we're now going to soon be looking for a sixth form for you. I know some of you might be the head teachers he comes up in front of, but we need to find somewhere that is that understanding and also that has a knowledge of all the potential mental health difficulties teenagers are struggling with these days because we don't want to have to teach you what his diagnosis is. This is how the occasion he's described that he was made to feel almost the pet transgender student. They, they were so out of their depth. They didn't know what we were talking about, which I'm afraid in 2017 is unforgivable and made us feel worse. Okay. okay. Thanks, Mr. So you're going to need the, um, Sorry. the staff to have training. Um, they have to have training. It's so traumatic what we're going through. We, we can't tell you what's, what the parameters are. I'm afraid, sorry, I know it's more workload, but we need you to have an understanding before we arrive.